Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an author, addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, The Take Your Life Back radio show, combined with the YouTube version on video. If you go to YouTube, you can just find it on The Take Your Life Back Today show. These proclamations are not verified or endorsed by me. I'm just bringing the story and testimonies to you as I heard about it. A man dies of a heart attack, comes back to life, and recalls meeting Jesus Christ. I do believe that. When Seth Cohen collapsed on May 13th last year, it, er it appeared to be the end of the road for this young man. He was experiencing a blockage in the main artery into his heart. This type of heart attack almost always, and I mean always, claims the lives of those who suffered. Only 10% of people survive it. But God let him live. And he probably did it for a good reason. Seth managed to stagger down the stairs of his apartment and desperately called 911. First responders found him fighting for his life, but the strain on his heart was too great. I passed away from something called a widowmaker heart attack, says, says Seth. It is the worst kind. Then an ambulance came. He experienced a vision of Christ standing over him. His heart was flatlining. Seth describes what he saw. I started seeing a white light uh, uh, while the paramedic is telling me, stay with me, Seth, stay with me. The first thing I noticed was I felt calm and relaxed, and there was a white veil. This is what Seth, uh, Seth said, says. Then Seth saw someone who he just knew was his best friend ever, even though he did not recognize him from this earthly experience. There was a connection that uh, there went deeper than anything he's ever experienced. Seth had ever experienced a friend like this. He wholeheartedly believes that this person was the Lord Jesus Christ. It was Jesus Christ himself, Seth declares. It was so glorious to be in the presence of the Lord Jesus. Cohen did not want to return to the confines of his human body. I didn't want to come back to what I'm doing here. I felt at such peace. Seth pleaded with Jesus to let him stay, but he was coming back into his body. He heard the words, no, not yet. That just tripped me out. Those words have been so profound in my life. I live in a different fashion now because I want to be a Christian. I want to write Christian music. I want to sing out loud about the Lord. I used to write music about pot, Seth says, and about getting high and hanging with your homies and getting laid. I don't use those words. This is Seth's words. Now I want to write positive music that mentions the Bible. I just want to write Christian music for God, Seth proclaims. If I have another heart attack tomorrow and don't tell you that Jesus Christ is real, I'm going to feel real bad about it. To anyone watching, Seth has a profound message. When you realize that Jesus is real, you'll realize a couple of things. You'll realize that he died for us. What kind of crazy, gutsy person goes out on the limb for a bunch of people he doesn't even know? Jesus Christ did that for you and did it for me, Seth says. It is my job to testify on his behalf that he is my friend, the Lord Jesus. I want you guys to share this with your friends, this story, so that they might know the reality of Jesus Christ. There are plenty of more people like that. Here's one more. Don Piper died for 90 minutes after a head-on collision back in 2008. According to an interview he gave to Fox News uh, commentator Bill O'Reilly, he said he went to heaven where he was greeted by family and friends outside the gates. He didn't see God or Jesus, but he spent time with his family members, who, he said, hadn't aged. Piper said that he went towards the gates of heaven before he suddenly woke up. Friends, this is God working in even Piper's life. This is a very remarkable, unique situation, Piper told O'Reilly. I saw things that... Uh, there that I wouldn't have expected to see if I was make, uh, dreaming a dream. I saw people there that I didn't expect to see. There were a lot of things about my experience that convinced me in no uncertain terms that reality 
is this, and this will always stick with me. This passing of mine is remarkable. I can't wait to go back there. I can't, didn't even want to come back here. I wanted to be with my family. I want to be with the Lord Jesus. Evan Alexander is a Harvard New York surgeon, and he was always skeptical about God. But in 2012, a near-death experience apparently sent him into heaven. According to the Huffington Post, Alexander was surrounded by butterflies and uh, was told by a woman that he had nothing to fear while he was in heaven. He also saw a number of transparent beings like birds soaring above him. Again, thinking about it later, it uh, uh, dawned on him that the joy of these creatures as they soared along was such that they had to make this noise that if the joy didn't come out of them this way, then they would simply not otherwise be able to contain it. Alexander said, according to him, heaven is beautiful. Brian Miller suffered a major heart attack and went unconscious for 45 minutes. When he woke up, he told his wife uh, that he had seen the late family members and has been to heaven according to an interview that Miller gave to Fox News. Miller said that when he went to heaven, he saw the light and just kept walking towards it. Then he found a, a path with flowers on the side where a man and woman greeted him. The two people grabbed him by the arms and told him he had to go back down to earth. That's God working. God wasn't done with him. It's all real. Call me at 844-405-HELP because we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to a total stranger can help that stranger and can make a difference in your life. May God bless you and know that God is real. When God has your time numbered, he'll take you from this earth. But if for some reason you go outside what God wants and you are not ready to leave this earth, God will put you back 